Hey ladies, thank you for joining me for my first YouTube video on how to install uh, crochet braids. I usually use Vanessa brand to install my crochets, but uh, for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going to use the Cuban Twist braidable uh, weaving hair along with the loose uh, crochet braids. Just don't mind me being silly there, but I found that Cuban Twist hair on a track, so I was thoroughly interested. So this install is going to involve um, some sewing of a track along with some install of the loose crochet braid hair that I'm showing you right there so in this video I will show you my braid pattern my install and how I style I hope you ladies stick around and I hope you enjoy all right I've come to learn that with the braid that you use the front braids are super important because those are the ones that are seen the back not so much so you can kind of you know do whatever you need to do back there to uh, get the hair together but the front I do suggest that you have small neat braids because it makes a big difference in the outcome of the hair all right so one more time I'm gonna show you that hair on the track and I'm also gonna show you the packaging and what it looks like all right so I'm gonna sew in the tracks and I know that's not the conventional way of putting in a full crochet set, but um, I think I'm on to a little different way of trying to install the hair. So just work with me, ladies. Using the Shake and Go Equal Cuban Twist double strand hair that is actually on the track. I double the track together. I do that for fullness. Um, so I double it together and then I am sewing it into the back of my head. I will stop where the braids crisscross, but I am starting to uh, sew the hair into my head. I just installed one full pack of the Cuban Twist. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start using the second pack. I didn't use all of it, I had a little bit left. And I sold all the way to the top of those crisscross braids. Now that I have uh, sewn in the hair that I need to sew and I'm now going to crochet the hair into my braids in the front. So as you can see, it's 16 inches and that's just too long for me in the front. So I will look to cut it in half. So I'm using just some sharp scissors and I'm cutting that hair in half. If that hair will behave, it was giving me a little bit of trouble. <laughs> so uh, the hair gets cut in half. And then from then on, I go ahead and I install the hair into my head. So as you can see, I have two bushels. And actually, by cutting the hair in half, you actually are using um, more hair in the pack. The, you use less packs of hair. So that's my crochet needle, a little simple crochet needle that I got from the beauty supply store for about $2. So I take a piece of the hair, as you can see, and I sold it all the way to the top with the hair on the track, but now with the crochet, I slide it through and I only do one loop. I've seen girls do three loops, two loops. I'm like, are you guys about to get into a street fight? <laughs> I mean, I think the hair is so coarse that if you do just one loop, you're, you're set. Um, so one loops have really worked for me. I have not had the hair slip out. Uh, so I definitely do one loop. So I'm just going to show you again how I slide the hair through and I open it. Take it through one loop, bring it down, tighten it, flip it over. Voila, knotless crochet. So I will do that to my whole head as far as getting it in there. So I think I just wanted to show you guys one more time how it's done. Sorry that I didn't have an opportunity to zoom in on that. As you can see, I go through the braid, open it, and then I go ahead and I loop it close it knotless knotless so um and also um do keep in mind you see how small and neat my braids are it's important that you guys have a very neat foundation because that's what people will see and that's will have that will have you having the best flawless look so as you can see on the right side of the picture um that's me basically going through the process of getting the hair in so the closer I get to the front of my hair I tend to separate the hair more so uh, it's cut in half 
I separated and then I separated again to make smaller pieces of hair. So as you can see in the front, once again, that one knot and I flip it over. So you see how neat that is right there? So I just keep doing that same process over and over. So the closer I get to the front of the hair, um, I use smaller pieces of the crochet. Make sure to use smaller pieces to make it more of a seamless look. Um, I think the chunkier piece of hair, you need to go to the back. So as you can see, still that one loop does the trick for me. And there you go. And I see it coming together, ladies. I'm, I'm excited. Look at that mento smile. Give it to him. <laughs> All right. So as you guys know, I was taking the Cuban Twist 18 inch, 16 inch, excuse me, cutting it in half, that's making it 8 inches. And I would, I am crocheting it into the front. Now, as you can see, I'm partly done, but I have some hair still out. So I just want to show you guys what I do to try and make it blend as much as possible. So I cut it in half, separate it into two. And separate it again. So out of that one, you're going to have four. And then knot with crochet method into the braid, clasp it. I only do it once. I feel like when you have coarser hair, you can do it once because it catches better. But if you have more silkier, textured hair that you're going to crochet in, then yes, by all means, do more. And there you go, a nice clean part of knotless crochet braids. Um, some ladies tend to go further to the front of their hair. I usually don't. So as you can see, I have a little bit more left to do, but I don't go too close to the front of my head. Now we're on to styling the hair. Ladies, I do want to caution you that not every hair dryer and flat iron is the same. So please do a test strand before you take heat to your whole head. As you can see, applying the heat uh, takes down that volume and gives it a natural blowout type of look. Now I'm going to flat iron the hair after I blow dry it down. Once again, ladies, please test strand that hair. And there's nothing fancy about that flat iron that I have there. So what I do is I pass it through the hair and I pass it over several times until I get a desired um, flatness that I'm looking for. So just keep going on that until you get what you need. All right, so I'm just gonna compare to the side that I have straightened to the side that I have not. You can see the difference there. Would you look at that? Look what 12 inches of that double strand hair did. That is like beyond my bra strap. So I just keep flat ironing the whole head and there you go to the right you see um, that's the finished product of me flat ironing the whole head. Now that I've achieved the desired straightness that I'm looking for, am I gonna cut the hair? No, 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 don't cut, don't use scissors. I say use a razor. That's gonna give you the most believable hair. Um, and you gotta start shaving out some of that volume because uh, you don't want the hair to be that unbelievable. So I go ahead and I take that hair out. So I just pass through, I razor my hair for maybe a good 10 minutes. I take a lot of volume out. Um, and that razor actually broke <laughs> because the hair was so coarse. <laughs> but um, yeah, I suggest that you razor the hair and you razor the ends because that gives you a more cleaner curl um, when you're done with the hair. So 
Once I raise the hair down to my desired volume and length, I then apply hot rollers. Um, any brand will work. Ladies, when I come back, okay, after putting these hot rollers in, <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be feeling myself. Just hold on, wait right there. I think you might too. Yes, honey, yes, what guys? <laughs> Ladies, I am so in love with crochet braids and the style. You can use multiple um, types of hair. Uh, you could put perm rods in, dip it in hot water, and go ahead and flat iron it. I just feel like the hair has so many versatile styles. I am feeling it. It took me all of maybe three, three and a half hours to complete. Um, I usually keep the hair in between five to six weeks. I can still grease my scalp. I can still wash my hair and I can still look lovely while keeping a protective style in. So I hope you ladies enjoyed the video. I really hope you learned something or that I inspired you to go ahead and try your own hair. Look at the different parts I could do. I could do a middle part, a side part, a deep part. Uh, you know, it's, the possibilities are endless. So um, I wish you all the best. And if you have any questions or concerns, you know, I'm here for you. All right, ladies, take care.